you guys have kind of struggled the last few years against Wisconsin, haven't won here since 2015. What does your guy mean to you guys as a team and you, especially being a veteran player, to come here and to see that? Yeah, I think it was huge. Um, definitely something we preached during the week. We wanted to go on the road and get a, get a big win. Um, they're a great team. Um, a lot of respect for those guys, but I mean, today definitely was a huge win for us, especially to come on the road and get a win in such a historic stadium like Camp Randall. Alex, what do you do with the Wisconsin came to the game after the 100 Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a huge credit to our D-line. I mean, I think they played great up front all game where it was super physical. Um, and then it really just came down to guys doing their job, not trying to do too much, staying in their gaps, gap um, sound. So it was definitely a good feeling to stop the run. Okay, Kenny, you got your first career sack today. What did it mean to be able to contribute to your team uh, that early in the game? Um, it felt amazing, honestly. You know, uh, talked to my dad before the game. It's his birthday today. I told him his birthday present was going to be a sack before the game. So got it for him. So it felt really good, you know. Coach Bronze did come in here. You guys have seemed like you've taken big steps forward as a defense since the beginning of the season. What has he done as a defensive coordinator and then also as a head coach to get you guys to this point in the season where you're competing for a bowl spot with two teams? Yeah, I mean, he's come in and done a, done a great job um, just installing his system as a defensive coordinator, something that um, we love to go out every week and just ex execute what he's, um, the plan he's putting in place for us. And then as far as the head coach, I mean, he's done an absolutely phenomenal job. I can't speak enough about Coach Braun and the job he's done. And that's a, that's a guy that whole locker room wants to be around here for a long time going forward. So definitely can, can't say enough about Coach Braun. Over here. You talked about Coach Braun. Just how much is that in Yeah, I think it's I think it's just going out each week and, and playing the best we know we can and playing for each other. Um, that's what he preaches. You got a bunch of guys out there playing for one another who love one another um, and love him and would go to battle with him any day of the week. So I think it's just showing up every week and everyone doing their job. Matt, you guys were both part of the team that I mean, last year was down to score 42 points in Madison. How you pulled them to 10 here in Madison? What, what do you feel like changed for you guys between those games? Um. I would just, I don't think a, lot, a whole lot changed. I think just now this year, we're just really focusing on coming together as a team and having a really nice community and inside the locker room, just really coming together, put an extra chip on our shoulder in the beginning of the year, so, yeah. Uh, a lot of people are going to look at Alex's amazing first half with the defense on Saturday night last touchdown when you three points. Uh, Kenny, you talked about the team coming together, but what do you all feel like on the field uh, just led to y'all's overall success on the field? Yeah, a huge thing that Coach Braun preaches is just 11 guys on the same page. When we got all 11 playing the same call, executing the same call, we're, we're really tough defense to move the ball on. So I think it just comes down to everyone being on the same page out there um, and just executing their job, like I said. Uh, Kenny, I believe you have a really important uh, deflected pass on um, Wisconsin's first, first or second drive to start a third quarter. What was your thought process on that play, and how important was it to, uh, to shut that drive down? Um, I say thought process just get a stop, you know, don't let them score. Uh, we always preach threes can't beat us, so as long as we continue to bow up on the in the goal line or red zone area, we just continue to have just a uh, great defensive stop. So, yeah. David, thank you. For both of you, uh, Coach Braun's probably favorite word is complimentary football, but today the offense got out big in the first half. How much easier does it make on a defense where you're playing ahead two to three scores? Yeah, I think, I, I mean, it's huge, obviously, right? You have that kind of insurance knowing that um, the offense is, is playing really well. Um, and like Coach Brown always preaches, complimentary football, that's huge to gain momentum in a game. And But I think our mentality is just going out every time we get a chance uh, to be on the field and just either going three and out or getting a takeaway. So that's kind of our mindset, no matter what, what the offense is doing. But it's definitely nice when they're, when they're rolling. And they were definitely rolling today. So it was great to see. For either of you, uh, when the, right before the fourth quarter began, you guys, uh, your sideline kind of went nuts to jump around. What was the mood like and the feeling like on the sideline with that three touchdown lead? Um, I would say just having fun, you know. I feel like that's the most important part of the game is really just being able to really embrace the moments. We don't get too many opportunities. So just having fun, being able to be with your guys on the sideline, just enjoying these, these type of wins. Did you think about it beforehand, or what was it? 
I thought about it, but I did not execute. <laughs> I did not do what I thought I was going to do, so yeah, I got to work on it. Kenny, kind of bigger year for you, bigger role this year in your second year. What would you say your growth has been that you've seen and what the coaching staff has said to you as a message of uh, why you remain in high focus today? Um, I feel like from this year, uh, from last year, just guys like Bryce and Xander just been really just been pushing me to be better this year because it's just – you know, a lot of a lot of things change in the process. Just being able to continue to stay the course has been a very big, big in top impact on me. So, Rice, not only is, is next weekend senior day for you, but also the team has a chance to, to get that sixth win and guarantee bowl eligibility. Do you have a message to Cats fans ahead of next weekend's contest? Yeah, I'd say just come out, be loud, and support us, man. I mean, we've we we're battling each and every week, and we're we're trying to do our best to get wins for for our fans. Um, so to have Ryan Field rocking next week for Senior Day and to secure bowl eligibility would be, I know, would be huge for the seniors, but for the whole team really, um, to just see that support. So I'm really really looking forward to it. <laughs> um, well, I was gonna take get a little shout out to my fraternity cap off side, but I forgot all about it. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Lie. Anything else? Brad, sorry, one last one for you guys. Um, at what point did you know this week that Ben was kind of going to get the nod at starting quarterback? What type of boost would you say that gave to you guys as a defense, knowing that you had QB one? Um, I, I wouldn't say we really focused on that too much. I mean, obviously, Ben and, and Sully are both great players. Really, that whole quarterback room with Ryan Holinsky, Jack Lausch. Um, Cole Freeman, all, all those guys do an absolutely phenomenal job. Um, so we kind of just focus on on the defense, and we we have full faith in whoever's going to take the field. Um, but super proud of Ben for coming out and doing what he did today. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks, guys. Trip this time. Yeah, I mean, it was it was frustrating not being able to be out there with my teammates. Uh, injuries suck, especially me being my last season of eligibility. And um, but it was so nice to get back out there, and I I can't thank the the training staff, the uh, strength staff enough for helping me get back out there. And it was so fun to get get out there and get a win today. Yeah, I think last week we kind of started a throwing progression and um, we kind of just slowly eased into it and 20 throws here, 20 throws there. Um, but we did a really good job of um, managing that. And I think the last weekend was kind of when I was like, all right, like I I'm, f I'm back. Like I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm ready to go this week and um, had a good week of practice and the coaches were ready to put me back out there. Yeah, I mean, I think just seeing it from a different perspective, it's it's weird when you're not out there and you kind of you kind of pick up on things that you might not see um, when you're playing. So, I think I I, I learned that, um, you know, it's I kind of just learned about just being more of a leader. Honestly, it's it's hard when you're not out there and you're not able to be that like voice on the field that's playing and making plays. But I learned how to lead off the field and be more of a um, guy that that kind of does it in that way. Yeah, I don't think, I think just maybe if I was a redshirt freshman, maybe I just, I'm, I'm so experienced. I've played in so many games. Um, I think all that just plays into helping me and um, just knowing how to handle the nerves, handle the environment, um, handle the pressure. And um, I think I, I think I did a good job of that today. And you played against your old head coach, Luke Fickle, this week. Two-part for you, was there any extra motivation to go out and play in this game knowing that he was on the opposite sideline? And what was your communication like with him going into this game? Yeah, I mean, it was... I didn't. I didn't talk to any of them all week, but um, I think it was it was really fun to be out there and play against him and um, get the win. But I owe nothing but the uh, respect to that guy. I mean, he he gave me the chance to come back to Cincinnati. He's a he's a really good coach, um, really good leader. I know he's going to do really good things here at Wisconsin. And um, but yeah, it was it was really fun to play against him. Ethan, uh, following up on that, did did the coaching staff pick your brain at all about what to expect from going 
going against your former coach this week? And also, did you get a chance to, to go up to him after the game? And if so, were, were there any kind of that um, I didn't get to. I didn't get the chance to go up to him after the game. I kind of got swarmed by all the, the strength coaches that I was with at Cincinnati um, last year and a couple of teammates that transferred to Wisconsin with the staff. But and that was really cool to see them and um, just even see them as, from a distance on the sideline. But um, what was the other question? Did, did Northwestern's coaching Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, there was some there were some similarities that they took over from Cincinnati defensive um, defensive wise, but there was also some new things that that they did differently. I think just based off of personnel and what they have here. And um, but yeah, it was it was cool to see some of that stuff translate, and then obviously the new stuff that they did. Yeah, I mean, he's he's never wavered. I mean, he he stepped in in a really difficult situation and um, taken us to this point. And I think we still have a lot to a lot to go. But he's he's the guy that everyone looks to to lead and motivate. And um, we're gonna follow him wherever he goes. And um, we we just love the guy. We love him as our head coach. And um, yeah, we're just really happy to have him. I think maybe just after that first drive, the first series, I think we had a lot of success throwing the ball and running the ball. And um, <clears throat> I think just getting that first drive and those first couple completions um, really gives you the confidence to go out there and keep doing it the rest of the game. Yeah, it was actually my second time playing here. I played here when I was at Eastern Michigan. Um, but it was a great atmosphere. Um, I think um, hitting different guys, I mean, I think that just comes with confidence that um, we practice every week. And I throw it to all the receivers we have, all the tight ends we have, and running backs. So I trust all those guys out there. I know they're going to make a play. And um, I'm happy that I get to play with a great group of guys. Oh yeah, it's big. I mean, obviously people talk about the rustiness and all that, but um, it was big to just go out there and, and make a statement and complete all those passes and just just score, just score consecutively and not not take our foot off the gas in that first half. Logan, you're, you're one point away from bowl eligibility. What would that mean after all y'all went through at the start of the season, the COVID season, if y'all were able to get into a bowl? What would it mean? Yeah, I think it would mean a lot. I mean, some of these guys, I've been very lucky to experience a bowl game every year in my career, but some of these guys haven't had that experience, and it's it's such a great experience. It's a great thing for, for young guys to um, improve over that, that period of time where you get all those practices, and it's it's great for older guys to um, just go out there one more time together as a, as a team and um, go out there and play together and have a lot of fun. Yeah, I think it was just really good coaching all week. We had a plan for some different looks that we, we saw that we haven't really seen much this season. And um, we just executed. And we made the plays when they were there. And it was it was really cool to see. And the touchdown pass, you the- oh, yeah. I mean, um, that, those are just the guys making the play. I mean, Cam, um, Cam won one-on-one. And then AJ, I, th- I don't know if it was Cam or Bryce, but they one of them picked Picked the, the DB for AJ, and he was wide open in the end zone. You scored on every, uh, every drive in the first half except for Neal, and then hunted on every drive in the second half except for Neal. What do you feel like changed at the break? Um, I don't know. I mean, that's definitely something we got to look at and improve on, and it's a little frustrating. But um, we want to we wanna keep, keep our foot on the gas and keep scoring. But um, I think that'll be something that we can look back at um, tomorrow and um, just kind of see what we can do differently. Ben, you've been, the portal, you've been in the portal multiple times. You've had multiple uh, season-ending injuries. How do you think resilience has helped define you as a player, and how do you think you've grown and learned from some of the trials you faced uh, during your 
Yeah, I mean, it's – I never expected to go through all that I've gone through when I came into college playing football. And it's – I'm honestly happy that I've gone through all of it because I've, I've learned so much. I've, I feel like I've grown into a man. I've matured a lot. Um, but I think it's just all um, – just is a great story for, for my career. And um, I'm just really excited to finish it off strong with this team. Yeah, they played a phenomenal game. Um, I'm so happy for those guys. They they worked their butts off and um, they they played a really good game. I mean, I was I, I don't really feel banged up at all to be honest right now. I feel pretty good. I think I'll wake up tomorrow and feel pretty good. Get out of bed, and not not waddle to the bathroom, <laughs> but uh, I'll I'll be good. I'm, I'm happy for those guys. They played a really good game. Oh yeah, that guy. That guy is such a such a good guy. I mean, he's a great competitor. Um, really, really good. Really good quarterback. I mean, he's he's one to look out for in the in the years to come. He's he's really smart, um, really athletic. Throws a great ball. Um, I'm so happy for him and how he's handled this situation. I mean, it's tough. I've I've been in a very similar situation as him, and um, he's just been so mature about it. And he supported me, and I've supported him. So it's been awesome. Yeah, I think just um, giving him any tips or knowledge that I have that will help him out there on the field, and whether it's game day or just throughout the week, um, whether it's footwork, mechanics, um, things from I see on the defense or different plays. But um, he does the same thing for me, so it's it's a two-way road, and um, I'm just happy to be in the quarterback room with him. Last question, Brent. And you guys haven't really been super consistent offensively. You scored 24 points today, 33 two weeks ago against Maryland, only seven points last week against Iowa. Maybe starting to come back, but what would you say you've noticed on offensive trends and how you guys can be kind of a little bit more consistent? Now? Yeah, I think I think you see our practices translate into the games. We gotta go back and continue to emphasize that the practice that we have throughout the week is gonna translate to the game. And I think we had a really good practice this week, and um, I think you saw that out there. And we gotta go back and just keep doing that. Yeah, I mean it's it's a really big game. Come out and support us, and um, we're we're gonna put on a show. We're we're really confident right now, and um, these last two games are huge for us. And um, we just have that one and zero mindset, and we're just really excited to get back out there in Ryan Field. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, guys. Thanks,